time for another trip means it's time for another pack with me. My mug is a little close to where we're going. So this is actually a long trip. I'm gonna be gone for about two weeks, have a work moment in the beginning. I'm gonna be in three, four different cities. <laughs> so we have a lot to do, but the bookend of the trip is going to be Salem, Massachusetts, which I've never been to before. We'll be there right at the beginning of September. So it feels like the perfect start to a fall season, hence my Hocus Pocus cup, drinking my coffee out of today. I don't even know that I can call it a mug. It's more of a cauldron, which I love so much. It was on sale in Shop Disney. If it's still there, I'll link it in the video description. But I have my coffee, getting ready to start packing for a two week extravaganza. I'm going to be starting in New York. I'm gonna be up in Maine, kind of like in the woods. And then we're gonna go to Salem. My parents are coming to meet me at the end of the trip. So we're driving to Salem. It's about two hours from where we're gonna be in Maine. And then from Salem, we're going to, we're flying out of Boston. My flight, um, the day we go home is about like 7 p.m. So I'm planning on having the whole day in Boston to myself. So we have four different cities to plan for. It's gonna be great. Also, the weather is going to be entirely different than what I'm now used to because we live in Florida. Let me change this. A little bit of a better angle for my short self. Um, the weather is going to be entirely different. Obviously, it's going to be the very, very beginning of not even technically meeting in a fall, but the end of summer, like tail end of summer when I'm gonna be there. And I'm used to 90 degree Florida weather, even in the mornings. And it's definitely gonna get down to the 50s at night. So we're gonna be layering and packing. I have a checked bag because that was the cheapest to do with spirits, like $10 cheaper to check your bag, which I don't love checking a bag, but mm. so I'm trying to decide between bringing my giant bag and then, or just, leaving my carry-on, because you know how you can extend carry-on sometimes? Leaving my carry-on extended, because I'm going to be moving so much. I'm gonna be staying in my friend's apartment. Like I said, we're gonna be in the woods. I'm gonna be bopping around. I don't really wanna bring a giant suitcase with me, and I don't really wanna go buy a new suitcase, because the big suitcases we have are old and kind of clunky and like not the cool, you know, hard case ones now that like flip in the middle, which I feel are so much more efficient for packing um, and don't have the like roundy wheels. So I feel like it would be more of a hassle for me to be bring a bigger bag. So I think I'm just gonna use my carry-on and just be very smart about what I pack. I also got this fantastic carry-on bag from Amazon that's gonna be my personal item. Um, which I just did. I'm just about to film an Amazon haul, so that'll be on TikTok. I'll share it with you. If you, you know, hang out on TikTok, come follow me. I think for now, what would make me feel good is just to start kind of throwing ideas out there, trying some things on, packing a little bit, and then going back to my specific plans because I have very specific needs for this trip because we're gonna be in three different cities. But I also, what I haven't done yet is given myself an itinerary for my days where I won't be working, which I think will really help me plan my outfits. I have some general ideas. So I wanna kind of start with my general ideas, throw everything out there like I usually do. <laughs> if you've watched my pack with me, is you know that's kind of a part of what I do. Try some things on, get some vibes, then nail it down to what exactly I'm going to be doing. I'm hoping that um, on my own Boston day, I really want to try and go to Harvard because I've never been and when I was I spent about a week in Maybe less than a week in Boston when I was on tour and we toured around downtown Boston a lot and did like some of the historical tours And it was so great, but I really wanted to go to Harvard And so I'm hoping that I can make that happen and maybe have like a Gilmore Girls moment Even though I know she didn't go to Harvard. She went to Yale, but you know what I mean? It's very Rory Gilmore and she's my love. I love her so much. I love Gilmore Girls so much <laughs> so Hoping I can make that happen, but I need to actually sit down and like plan an itinerary and like look at maps and things. So I think I'm gonna do that at the later part of the day. But right now I just wanna get my suitcase packed because I'm leaving in about four days. And because I have such a long trip and I have such specific needs, I know I'm going to be really worried if I don't, if I leave everything to last minute. So we're gonna start now, get a good base. I wore kind of like a spooky top for the occasion too, since this is like very fall. Fall is our favorite time of the year, me and Robbie, it's our favorite time of the year. So I'm very excited to have a little bit of that in my, the actual feel of the physical season, like the chilly air, because we don't get that in Florida. So definitely embracing that vibe and I'm very excited and, okay, let's just, we're just gonna get started.
be kind of wild. Do we do an Emily, is it Emily Binks? Cause it's Zachary Binks, is it Emily Binks? Do we do an Emily moment with this dress in Salem? Like I was about to say, is it too much? It's not too much, it's never too much. I love too much, but are we gonna use it again is the thing, you know? But I feel like, I don't know, it works. I kind of love it. But I'm also gonna be like in the woods in Maine. Like do we do another photo shoot with this dress? Like creepy, like ghosts, like for Halloween? I kind of love it. Plus this dress was $20 from Amazon. I just did a haul on my TikTok, but like so good if you want a period piece. Oh. Mm. Or like, I suppose we could make it modern too. And like really go for it. Put a like black belt. I kind of love it. <laughs> I, think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna bring it. We're gonna plan to bring it and then we'll see if I have room. have the first bout of packing kind of done and by packing I mean like very very rough first draft tried some outfits on that kind of surprised me so I feel like I've got a good vibe but it's so funny I opened my Pinterest to look at the boards that I started and literally the first page of my Pinterest is like already the vibe <laughs> without me even going at my boards look at this I'm on Pinterest all the time so it can tell that I am ready for a dreamy fall moment ah I'm obsessed. Okay, about to pin all of these things too. <laughs> So I'll show you guys what I do. It seems like very extra, but it's really not. It actually helps my brain, wrap me wrap my brain around like what I need. So I'm not feeling sad that I don't have the right outfits because I would. <laughs> it also helps packing be more efficient. So I'll show you kind of what I do. I have this little Google sheet that I just kind of edit for my different trips. First of all, I changed the coloring. So I adjusted my coloring to be very fall, of course. So I have my September trip. I kind of try to highlight the weather. I'm gonna go through this once I kind of go through each place I'm gonna be in and add activities and places that I wanna go to. And then these are like must-haves, like say if I'm going on a beach trip, I'll put bathing suit or tennis shoes or something like that, just so I have those all laid out for me too. So I'm gonna go through the spaces later today and come up with just like put a bunch of different 
suggestions in this area and then I can decide from there what I'm gonna do and then I have each like location and what I'm gonna be doing there um, sometimes if I have a shorter trip I'll do this by days so I'll do like day one day two and then I'll put the activity um, or like the main thing that we'll be doing that day or something that I need to plan for below it but for here it's just kind of like I have two days I'll be in Maine for a long time for most of my trip and then I have two days in New York as well so laying those out and then I'll usually put the activity here and then my outfit ideas in these next areas so that's kind of how I plan okay it is about one o'clock and I still have not finished my coffee yet I've been very busy running around um I was gonna film a little bit more um, but I think we're gonna call it a day. I have tomorrow We're gonna do a little bit of shopping grab some of my favorite snacks and then the few last-minute things that I need to fill in my suitcase that I don't already have I'm trying not to do any more shopping because we don't need to spend any more money So just the little things like the must-haves like little nutritional things because I'm very specific in coffee I'm working on my digestive system, which we can talk about at a later date But just very specific things that I need so I'm gonna do some last-minute shopping for like travel must-haves tomorrow and then I'll bring you guys along. We're also gonna start decorating for fall before I leave, so I think I'm gonna do that probably Monday, which I'm so excited about, but today's about packing. Actually, today is about rest, so we're gonna get some rest, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're back to packing. Last minute I have this, I'm actually bringing this with me, but I had to wear it because it's so perfect. I'm watching Gilmore Girls as I pack for our fall trip. And I have this Luke shirt on. I started decorating for fall, which you'll already see that video or you just saw that or you'll see it soon anyways just decorated for fall but finishing up packing i just have little bits and pieces here and there to put together i gotta get all the bits and bobs and we're almost there later and I'll bring you guys along with me in the morning as we head to the airport because I'm gonna have I have to get there early because of my ride so we'll play around a little bit more but for now I'm going to hang out with Robbie have some dinner and enjoy the night Oh